Welcome back everybody. It's been a little while. We've been a little busy. <laughs> Got some new little goat friends. You know. Let's see. Let's check them out. Hey guys. Oh, y'all were talking a lot before. I... There you go. Talk to me. We have this. <laughs> we have this electric fence and we have done multiple searches on different fences like Premier One. Um, and we ended up getting the Stark Line fence and we really like it so far easy really easy to put together and put up and i searched everywhere everywhere i could not find a video for closed i mean i'm sorry i saw a bunch of videos for closed circuit but not open circuit so as you can see we have their shelter back there and we just wanted to go around and meet to it and it works just fine now, I think if you have a longer run, you know, you might want to eventually close it or somehow connect it. But this is working out just fine for us. We have actually bought more and it's on its way. That way we can move them to the back part so we can get them to beat down the brush. This was good for right now. Um, as you see, they don't have a whole lot of grass. But like I said, we're going to move them. They're getting moved um, in the near future and to the back of the property hopefully clean it all out but they're doing really good we're excited to see some goat babies in the future <laughs> bunch of craziness going on behind me but so i don't know what's going on right now we're only getting like one egg a day um, well, I do know what some of it was going on. Two of the chickens were broody and they sat on a couple eggs. I also put some turkey eggs underneath them that we had found. Um, Henrietta did move her nest again. Um, it was back here in the woods and then we saw her go across the street the other day. So now it's across the street. Lovely. I'm really hoping she doesn't get hit by a car. I keep taking the eggs. Well, Cody did. Once we found them, Cody... <laughs> He got tore up by the briars, but um, he went and got and collected the eggs. So I'm gonna put them, oh my gosh, look at this. Chickens! And he, we're gonna put them in the incubator at the end of this week. So in just a few days. But yeah, so life here on our little property is good. We're hoping that in the next two months, all the other chickens start laying a bunch of eggs and we bred the bunnies again we'll see how that goes no promises on that i'm i'm not giving up but it's becoming frustrating so we're learning i'm learning i did pick a lot of green beans the other day and we're gonna have them for dinner tonight and i got my first zucchini um so yeah the garden's doing fairly well if I can keep the deer out of it. But yeah, so we um, have a little alarm thing when it shows motion. And it was going off like crazy the other night. So I go and I'm looking out the window. And I see multiple deer running across the road in front of our house. So I was like, great. And then the next morning I come out and check my garden. And all the back part of the green beans the tops were chewed right off so i'm gonna have to get something um they hadn't messed with it until like the last couple weeks or the last two no last week or so is when i really noticed it um but what are you gonna do they gotta eat too i guess just not my food thanks for watching guys if you would, please give us a thumbs up and share and subscribe. They think it's a good idea too. So if you would just do that for us, we would really appreciate it. Thank you guys. Have a great day.